Google Gemini has released a brand new canvas feature, which you can do things like this, and you can create HTML games like this that even have a little audio, which is pretty good. You can also create blog posts or write in a very collaborative manner. You can also code in a very collaborative manner. Obviously, it's no secret. It's very reminiscent of ChatGPT canvases feature it almost it's almost like google went hey gpt can i copy your homework don't worry i'll change it enough so it doesn't seem like i copied it straight but they clearly did anyway in this video i'm going to show you how you can use it a few of the use cases for it and how you can make a kick-ass blog post that is well researched with it if you don't know me my name is nico i run an online community called the ai ranking school community where we teach all things ai and automations to be able to rank number one on google so let's get to it right away. I'm gonna start a brand new conversation. I've got here selected in Gemini, the different models. Now, keep in mind that I can only access the Canvas feature if I've got Gemini 2.0 Flash selected as the model. Because if I select, let's say Flash Experimental, all of a sudden that is disabled, which is a shame, but I'm sure they might make it available. Anyway, let's go to Flash and let's ask it to, uh, help me write a blog post about the best way to prompt Gemini Flash 2.0. And whilst I've got some misspelling, that's okay. I'm gonna make sure that I've got the canvas feature selected and hit enter. Because I've got that feature, you'll see the slide out and all of a sudden I can go and write my blog post here. Now, this is fairly simple because obviously the prompt was fairly simple as well. But before we get into how to write a really good blog post, I wanna show you the features that are here. And I like the design sometimes a lot more than canvas and it's, pu it's probably because I work a lot with Google Docs and therefore the design is very reminiscent. I can, I kind of know where things are right away. And here I have get the main headline uh, and I can see that that is a H2. I can, for SEO purposes, I can head, change that to a H1 and these other ones to a H2. And you can see that I've selected here that I can ask Gemini more things. So I can say, well, what is Gemini Flash 2.0, for example? and hit enter and it should give us the answer here and maybe even change it here. Beautiful. Now I can ask it to also change the length of this. So if I wanna make it a little bit longer, uh, let's say I want it long and much like GPT's canvas, there's a lot of other features that I'll show you in a second. For those of you who are very worried about their word count, this is an easy feature. Not that it's going to improve my SEO uh, if the blog post is longer, I can change the tone from very casual to very formal. And I can even ask for suggesting edits. It's going to read it and see how I can polish it up, which is the feature that GPT has with the same thing. And after it does that, you're going to see the recommendations here. Let's read the first one. Add a brief introduction that quickly summarizes the blog post purpose. Yeah, we could do that. And then another recommendation there. Not too bad. I can also change the length of that selection or that section here right away. For example, I can just change the length of this to let's go very short and see if it just makes that section a little bit shorter. Sure enough, it did without having to rewrite everything else. It's a lot more of a collaborative approach. It's really nice. And I can also add my final things. Let's say I want to add a nice call to action at the end. Join AI ranking, for example. It just kind of flows really nicely. I really like it. So. Whilst Gemini 2.0 Flash isn't the best or the AI of choice when it comes to content copywriting, how can I expand on this and how can I can make it write better? Well, we can start a new conversation and we can start with research first. You can see now the Gemini Flash or Gemini has access to deep research. This is again, very much like Perplexity's deep research, OpenAI's deep research, and I'm really liking Gemini deep research. Let's ask it, for example, I wanna know the best standards, practices, and ways to prompt Gemini 2.0 Flash from Google to get the maximum outcome every time. Research the best way to prompt this model. If you're wondering, that little transcription is called, tool is called Super Whisper. I'll leave it linked below. I've got that, I've got deep research enabled, and it's gonna take a second. It's going to give me a research plan, which I can edit if I should see fit. For example, here is the topic and its plan. Let's go click more. And all of a sudden I've got an understanding of how it plans to research this whole thing. Uh, I can change it, edit the plan if I want to. Maybe I want it to see, well, what is the best way for me to rank with Gemini Flash, something like that. But for now, we'll leave it there. I'm going to start research. 
Now this is available for free for everybody, but it seems to be different where you are in the world. So if you don't have it available, I'm really sorry. But as far as I'm aware, you can access it, particularly if you've got a work account with Gemini. Now you can see that it's starting to do research, searching the web. We've seen deep research capabilities from everywhere. It's probably not as in-depth as OpenAI's deep research, but you know what? That's okay. Sometimes OpenAI's deep research is a little bit too much for me. That talks more about my intelligence instead of the application itself, but we'll leave that topic there. And if you don't know what deep research is, this is acting like a professional research assistant. It's not just looking at, let's say, the top results and then synthesizing that data into a good answer like normal perplexity research or GPT research, but it's taking a step, multi-step approach to this. It's finding, for example, the first key websites, understanding the key principles that these websites give you in terms of information, and then investigating further and further and further. And if you really summarize it and thought about it, it would probably take me a whole day, and I don't think I'm exaggerating there, to do the same kind of research, even if I had chat GPT with search, to actually understand and distill all that information into a useful document which it's going to give us. After about five minutes, my research has come back. Let's take a quick look at it. Uh, fundamental principles of prompting, Gemini Flash 2.0, leveraging natural language, clear instructions, the significance of providing context, utilizing specific and relevant keywords. Cool, okay. Um, few short prompting, so the different types of prompting strategies, chain of thought, few short prompt chaining, classic prompting strategies, optimizing for structure, Okay, perfect. But it's a pretty good detailed article about how to prompt, even a few tables. Nice, not too bad. Parameter guide. Okay, conclusion. And then all of the resources that it used, which oh, sources read but not used in the report. So it's able to understand that information probably isn't that good. I can copy the whole thing or I can export to docs. That's what we're going to do. We're going to export it to documents. And whilst it's there, we're going to download this beautiful research provided by Gemini Deep Research. And I'm going to start a brand new conversation. I'm going to go to Gemini Flash 2.0. I'm going to drop in my research. I'm going to click on Canvas. And now I'm going to say, using the research provided in the document, help me write a blog post about the best ways to prompt Gemini 2.0. Make sure the tone of voice is insert your tone of voice and make it at least 2000 words in length. Let's start there. Okay, uh, now we're getting somewhere. This is not bad at all. Let's read the kind of first sentence and see if we like it or not. Unlocking Gemini 2.0 Flash, your guide for effortless prompting. Sure, uh, I want to do that as an H1, but anyway, meet Gemini 2.0 Flash, your new AI wingman, very much a GQ style, which I said. Google's Gemini is the new Swiss army knife of AI, and Gemini 2.0 Flash is the speediest of the family. And it's got a one there. I think that's what that it tried to inject the research, uh, but that's okay. It's great even got a table. That's not bad. Okay, cool. Pretty cool. Now I'd go back and forth and see how I can fix it. Uh, foundation of prompting, pretty good. I like that. Okay, level up. And all of a sudden I have a blog post. Now I don't think that is the right word length, but regardless, let's just see how many words this is. I know it's a bit funky there, but that's okay. We're going to go to tools and the word count is 1,376. So not even close to what we wanted in terms of word length, but that's okay. It's not really about word length. The longer the blog post isn't necessarily gonna be the better, but we can fix that. We can go change the length and we can go to long and see how that affects. Cool, now we've got 3000 words, so a lot more. Now we can start reducing a little bit, which is probably an easier strategy to create more and then reduce this, but not too bad. You can see that this stuff is all pretty good and it's good because we gave it really high quality research with a free deep research tool. I really like this. Now you can place this in your website. Let me show you one easy and funky thing that you can do here. I'm going to copy a section of this and this might work, this might not. I've done this in other videos. I wanna see if Gemini 2.0 Flash can do this with Canvas. So I've copied this section, all right? I wanna add some pizzazz to my blog post, right? I'm gonna add a new chat 
uh, make sure I've got Canvas installed. And I'm gonna say, uh, please turn the following section into an interactive HTML element that I can upload to my website. There should be some hovering effects and it should add more value and supporting content to that section. I did this little prompt, I then gave it the blog section and let's see what it comes up with and see if it kind of understood what I wanted it to do. Okay, great, learn more. That's not bad, a little section here. Perfect, let's see if we can make it a little bit more fun. Classic, I see that a lot of AI models do this. They turn it into interactive quizzes, which could be good for your blog post. It's going to extend the on-time page for somebody reading it, which is a good signal for Google. Now, should you run and swap and cancel all of your AI tools here for this? No, but if you don't wanna pay for an AI tool and this works within your workflow, then it might be a nice alternative. Test your awareness, which techniques involves providing examples. Yeah, okay, it created a little thing. This is quite good, chain of thought, next question. Wow, you shot. I'm gonna get a couple wrong here on purpose. I think it's going around in circles, but that's okay. I can fix that later on. I can show the code as well and change the code as I see fit as well. Just a really overall good, simple, easy tool. Is it the best canvas out there? Mm, I don't know. Try it out, let me know what you think. All the, resources, all the resources are below. If you like this video, make sure you consider subscribing to the channel. Make sure you give this video a like so we can help the algorithm show this video to more people that need it. Cheers, thanks a lot.